Let us now learn more about animal life. What do the animals do in the winter? First, let us see how we humans spend the winter time. What do we like to do in the winter? We take out all our wooden clothes placed in the cupboard and wear them. No one likes to come out of the warm and cozy blanket or quilt in winter, do you? Also, there is nothing like a hot cup of coffee or tea on a cold chilly winter day. And not to forget the hot samosas. When the temperature drops very low, we even turn on the heat to feel warm. In areas where it snows, for emergency situations, people bury extra food and store it. So how do animals prepare themselves for the winter and spend the winter time? As the food is scarce in the winter, like humans, some animals gather extra food and store it for later use. How do animals keep themselves warm in the cold winter? They don't have sweaters or jackets or blankets to cover themselves up or turn on the heater like us. Many animals huddle close together to keep themselves warm. Some animals like seal and walrus have thick skin to keep themselves warm. What happens in the polar or arctic region where it snows and temperatures are below freezing points? To keep warm, few animals grow new thicker fur before winter like in the case of polar bear. Let me tell you about Mother Nature's another great miracle. Do you know how arctic fox prepares for winter? They have brown coat in summer which changes to thick white fur in winter. Oh yes, that is why the dragonfly was singing its magic, its magic. It's mother nature's magic that changes these animals fur from brown to white and also thicker in winter. Yes, it's magic, it's magic. Same way, arctic hare also changes its coat to white in winter. You might think why fur changes to white? So that they remain hidden when the snow starts to fall. Yes, it's camouflage. They merge with the snow white surrounding. It makes it difficult for the enemies to find them. Oh yes, now I know why the wolf couldn't find the white rabbit in the snow. That was camouflage. Look at the picture carefully. Can you see a bear sleeping inside the cave in winter? In the autumn season, these animals get ready for winter by eating extra food and storing it as body fat. During winter, they go for a very long, deep sleep and require very little energy. They wake up in spring only when the food is available easily. So true. Yes, my friend Dragonfly told me that the bear was sleeping for the whole winter. I was so surprised to know this then, but not now. Look here. How the two dormice are sleeping. So warm and snug. This state of deep sleep in which body uses minimal energy supplied by stored food in the body is called as hibernation. Sometimes the weather conditions become very bad. What happens if it is no longer possible to live due to cold weather at a place? Some animals move to warmer places until the cold weather is gone. They return when conditions become favorable again. Let me now tell you about some special guests in our country. Every winter,
we have some special guests from Central Asia coming to our country, India, the Moisel Crane. To start this journey, every year before the arrival of winter, they gather in groups called as flocks. Together, they fly thousands of kilometers across the Himalaya mountains and reach India to spend the winter. They reach India mainly Rajasthan and Gujarat areas and spend the winter. They return to their native in Central Asia on the arrival of the spring season. Another international traveller is Monarch Butterfly. As it turns very cold, monarchs fly from Canada and the United States to spend the winter in another country, Mexico. For this, monarchs fly as far as 4,000 kilometers. The butterflies leave Mexico in the spring and return to their homes in Canada and the United States. This periodic movement of an animal from the place where it has been living to a new area and its return journey to the original home is called as migration. Why do animals migrate? To avoid extreme conditions for food and water, having safe environment for bearing and nursing newborns. Yes, the flock of birds which I saw flying in V-shape in the sky that time were actually migrating to another warmer place for food and water. So, we see animals follow different adaptation techniques for their survival. Like store extra food, they grow thicker fur for the winter, Camouflage, merge with the surroundings to remain safe. Hibernation, go for deep sleep in winters. Migration, move to another place and return to the original home. I wish I was an Arctic wolf. That way I could get a new coat every winter. No, no. I think it would be better for you to be a bear. Then you will get to sleep for months. That would be hibernating Anand. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> wish I was a bird that goes on a vacation every year. Hey, it's not at all a vacation for them. Because of severe winter, they are forced to go to warmer places in search of food. Then they come back when things are back to normal. That is in the spring season. Hello, Mr. Migration. You are saying as if you have seen all this? Maybe. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> 